It's Carla from Seed Root Sprouts, and I want to welcome you back to my channel. Thanks for joining me today as I unbox this wonderful wish list plant that I have been looking for for at least a year and a half. So let me tell you a little bit of my story. So I've been um, planting and nurturing and cultivating uh, green things um, ever since I was a little kid. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to collect plants that my mother grew in our home when we were children. Um, but every time I find something unique, whether it's something she grew or not, I have to try and get one. So I don't spend a lot of money on plants and I prefer to trade for my things. So recently I decided, um, after watching a bunch of other YouTubers, I decided to join a group on Facebook where you can plant purge or you can trade or, you know, things like that to get the plant that you really want. So I decided to join a plant purge group on Facebook. And the very first day that I logged on, what was someone trying to trade but a Cebu Blue Pothos? Something I've been looking for for a year and a half. So I went ahead and I said, hey, this is what I've got. Are you interested? So she said, sure, I'm interested. I said, look, I have two cuttings from this Mikan's and they were really long trails. She said, ooh, thumbs up. And I said, well, and I also have a Hoya, a Hoya Puba Calyx, which was my first unboxing on my very first video. You can check it out on my channel whenever you want. I'll try and link it above if I can figure all that out because I'm new to this. Um, anyway, she said, sure, I'll, I'll do that. So I'm new to Hoyas and I said, well, I don't even know where to cut a Hoya. But I kind of researched it. I checked out a couple of other YouTubers and um, I decided to go out and just take my scissors and take my chances. And the clipping that I gave her had four beautiful leaves and about a 12 inch vine. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna have luck with that piece, as well as uh, the two pieces of Mikan's that I sent her. So um, she sent me, in return, three pieces of a Cebu Blue. And we're gonna unbox it right now, and I want you to come and join me. So this is the, books, the box that she sent it in, um, which I'm really glad about because the box that I sent her in was a little flimsier. This is pretty hard. Um, and it comes with a fragile handle with care sticker. She told me that she didn't have any um, sphagnum moss, but she used a wet paper towel instead. So I'm interested to see if this paper towel for the last three days has stayed moist. So I'm excited because I've never had a Siva Blue. I've just admired other people's on um, Facebook. So here you can see she's wrapped it this way. And I can already see that it's limp. And you know, this is not, these are not rooted cuttings. So I'm not expecting it to look alive and bright and vibrant. And there should be three cuttings here. So, and I can see this uh, little piece sticking out of the, um, Paper towel is still wet, so that's good. Okay, so there should be three cuttings, as I said. They're not very big and not very long. Here's the first one, and as you can see, it has aerial roots, three leaves, plenty of nodes. Here's an oh, here's another one coming. Great. And this is looking pretty green to me, but I'm assuming that um, when it starts to root and it gets its life back, we'll see that characteristic blue um, sheen that a sable blue is known for. Here is cutting number, oops, cutting number two. Not as healthy a cutting, but still with notes, small leaves. 
And here's cutting number three, which is the healthiest, most robust one. And you can begin to see that pretty blue sheen that I fell in love with when I first saw this plant. Look at that one, so pretty. So I'm excited, let's get these in water. I'm gonna put it in this vessel um, that's opaque because I don't want a lot of sun creating algae. And I'm just going to change the water maybe every week. And I'm gonna stick it in this east facing window. Photos are not known for liking direct light. Um, so this is a nice gentle light in this window. As you can see, my micans is going crazy in this light. The two pieces that I um, cut off of here, they were extremely long. I'll try and link or insert um, stills of the pieces that I sent her. And right before I cut the two that I sent her, I cut another one and I got about like five good pieces with aerial roots, nodes, and at least three or two or three uh, leaves. And they're in my propagation station in the bathroom window. So I'm gonna have more micans, and I love the micans, it's so pretty. And you know, a lot of people are probably saying, well, why would you trade a pothos for a pubicalyx and two pieces of micans? It's not an even trade, but I'm kind of feeling like um, we don't really do this for even trades. It would be nice, you know, if I'm trading a piece of a plant that cost me $200 for a piece of a plant that cost you $200. But in the real world, if you really just love plants, um, I don't think that that really is the bottom line for trading. She had something that I've been looking for and it may not be an expensive plant, um, but it, it's, it has meaning to me, it's beautiful. It's not something that my mother grew, but it's something that just reminded me of green lushness or, you know, bluish green lushness that I grew up with. And so it has more meaning to me than, you know, the monetary value of it. I'm not looking to grow it and, um, you know, propagate pieces for sale. Um, so I'm pretty comfortable with giving up the Hoya and the two Mikans for three pieces of the Cebu Blue. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Oh, if you liked me or this video, please hit like and subscribe for more videos in the future. Take care.